Welcome back everybody and if you are new here welcome to my channel I like to post all sorts of homemade recipes weekly so if you consider subscribing be sure to click that bell notification to get all of my latest videos okay today I'm going to be making picadillo tacos picadillo is basically a ground beef hash whatever you want to put in it veggie wise it's up to you I change it up all the time and it just depends what I have available today I'm going to add things like corn zucchini some onion definitely potato and season it the way I like and growing up I used to have it several different ways it would be soupy with like a tomato broth with a chicken tomato broth and then less soupy for tacos and that's what I'm doing today so you can season and add the vegetables of your choice this is just one of many ways that I make this I'm so excited this is my kids favorite way to eat tacos so he actually requested this today and I'm like sure I have all the ingredients let's do it so let me show you how I'm going to do this okay to get started I'm going to be using one pound of lean ground beef this is a 93 7 lean meat to fat ratio I also have one squash that needs to be used you could definitely use zucchini one ear of corn I have a jalapeno that definitely needs to be used so I'm just going to toss this in whole just for flavor not necessarily spice here I also have just a piece of carrot this is around half of a small bell pepper half of a medium onion three cloves of garlic that I'll be mincing and I also have two medium to small potatoes so I'm basically going to just chop all of these ingredients and then we'll be ready to start cooking the picadillo I also want to mention that I will be using some low sodium beef broth and I am going to be using a little bit of tomato puree now the tomato I will say it's optional traditionally you know picadillo not only was ground beef it could have been just finely minced or chopped beef like cuts of beef steak um, and sometimes we had it with tomato and sometimes we had it without I actually do like it both ways it, again it all just depends what I have but I do have some tomato puree that I'm going to use I'm gonna add it in there just a third cup and if you really want it soupy and uh, have a more prominent tomato flavor add more tomato so I'm going to start making this and I'll show you how I do it so now that this is preheated I'm going to start sauteing my onion okay so my onions are where I need them to be now I'm going to add my cubed potato and I'm going to add my carrot because the carrot and the potato is going to be the ingredients that take the longest to cook. I'm also going to add a pinch of salt to this. And I will be adding salt as I go along. You'll definitely want to use salt, things like salt and seasoning to your preference in this.
So everything looks great. So now I'm going to cover this with a lid. I'm going to let this cook for 20 minutes. I'm going to lower the heat now that I covered it. You don't want it to burn. And 20 minutes will allow everything to cook well. The potatoes and carrots will soften. The meat will get a little more tender because it is ground meat, but everything will just taste fantastic. Okay, so it has been 25 minutes and I wanna show you. So this is what it looks like. Let me set this over here. So this is definitely done. But because I want to do tacos with this, I do want some of that liquid to sort of evaporate or thicken. So I'm just going to let it continue cooking uncovered. And this is at like a medium low heat. It shouldn't be super high because you don't want it to burn. But I'm just going to continue letting it simmer until some of that liquid evaporates and it'll be really good for tacos. Okay, so I'm going to turn this off. And here is what you end up with. As you'll see, basically what happened is any liquid or broth that was left in the pan pretty much concentrated and evaporated. So this is going to be perfect and delicious in my opinion. Okay, so now I'm going to start making some tacos. Here I have my refried beans, my pan of picadillo. I'm gonna remove the jalapeno over here. Be sure not to poke that. This is not spicy with the addition of the jalapeno unless you break it open during the cooking process. Growing up, my grandfather used to do this a lot because he loved spicy stuff and he loved to eat the jalapeno. Okay. So making the tacos are really up to you, how you like them, and take a look at this. These tortillas came out so good today. I love it when it's a good tortilla day. <laughs> so I'm going to lay my flour tortillas down. I'm going to add some beans right to the center. And depending on what you like, add the amount you like. I'm just going to smear it on just like that. And then to my beans, I'm going to add the picadillo right on top. And you'll notice it's not soupy, so it's, it's a better consistency for tacos. And I love that the potatoes are nice and mushy and tender. I mean, they still have their shape, but basically you can roll the end, or that's at least what I like to do. And then you've got your picadillo taco with refried beans. Okay, so Dax is going to try the picadillo taco. Are you ready to try? Yes. Okay. Let's see, here's the taco. <laughs> you ready? Mm -hmm. 
Is it good? Mm -hmm. High five. That's what you asked for. You can chew your food. Okay, so he loves it. I'm going to serve the rest of the tacos so everybody can eat. I actually want to try the picadillo. And I don't know if you guys can see this. Let's see. Is it focused? I have a little bit here, and I just want to show you the potato is cooked perfectly. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> so good. Mm, one more bite. One more bite. Mm -hmm. High five. So I am going to continue serving the rest of the family the tacos. I certainly hope you guys found this video helpful. And be sure to check the link below for the flour tortillas and refried beans recipe. Actually, it's a chopper beans recipe that I just mashed. <laughs> Anyways, he approves it. Okay, so I hope you guys give this recipe a try. And I hope you like it. And thanks for watching.